JP Morgan Healthcare Conference is Baxter Chairman and CEO Joe Almeida, along with CNBC's Meg Terrell. Meg? Well, Kelly, thanks so much. Joe, thanks for being with us out of the JP Morgan virtual conference. You know, I want to start off by asking you about the sight line you have into hospitals through your business, supplying them and working with them with this massive Omicron surge we're going through right now. What are you seeing in terms of the impact that's having on hospitals? Well, first of all, uh, Meg, thank you for having me today. Um, hospitals are uh, very stressed. As we can see, uh, Omicron has put a significant amount of burden in hospitals. We are doing the best we can. We're supplying products from all corners of the world. Um, we tend to be more localized with our manufacturing facilities, but we are seeing tremendous uh, um, uh, increase in demand for specific products, primarily the ones to treat patients um, with with COVID. So it is it is a tough time right now. Um, our our gratitude to all the healthcare workers who are today working so hard to treat the patients across uh, the U.S. and the globe. Now, with that increase in demand, of course, you know we're thinking back to the beginning of pandem of the pandemic. We saw so many of these products go into shortage. Are you seeing any of that now or are we a little bit more resilient in terms of being able to source these things and predict the demand? Um, how is how is supply holding up? Well, um, the supply was holding up OK to a certain point. Omicron has created um, a short term imbalance in demand. We see significant uh, surge in certain classes of products. We're doing everything we can. We're working 24 uh, hours a day, seven days a week in all of our facilities that require products to be made uh, to be supplied to hospitals. But it is a challenge uh, for, for us. We are doing the best we can, and uh, we are allocating based on, on need and the need is based on uh, severity of the infection in certain parts of the country and more hospitals that need uh, uh, products. So we are uh, providing products. We created more resilience in our supply chain. We added more shifts, but also uh, we have uh, supply chain challenges that come in with the whole supply chain challenge, uh, challenge across the, 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 the globe. What Baxter is doing is doing everything it, ca it can do to save and sustain lives. How are you modeling kind of where things go from here as much as nobody has a crystal ball and it's impossible really to know as you're planning for just sort of business continuity? What does the rest of the year look like from the pandemic perspective? So um, if you think about the visibility that we have is, is clear in the next three to six months to project the whole year. It becomes more difficult and more opaque. Um, but if we think about the pandemic moving into an endemic state, uh, we'll probably normalize towards the mid half of the year. Uh, so we think that by that point, some of the supply chain may alleviate as we start to see this become more a endemic and less of a pandemic crisis that we have today. Um, the way we model this, we have significant amount of data that comes in. We do the best we can in terms of predicting procedures, procedure volumes, as well as the use of our products across the board. So it is, it is uh, we had up significant our capabilities of predicting uh, uh, what is going on. Despite the fact that we did this, Omicron has been a tremendous uh, disruptor across the board. And as we manage through this, uh, we hope that this by in a couple of months will become more tamed as we saw um, happen in South Africa and some data actually out of the UK. We absolutely hope the same. Joe, we got to leave it there. But thank you so much for being with us from the JP Morgan Conference. We really appreciate it.